Well, Ferdinand spent nine years in the Premier League, including with West Ham, the club he is representing here at the soccer tournament. This is not the first reported incident of racism he's been involved with on the pitch, saying more needs to be done to combat it. The topic of conversation that was laid bare yesterday is bigger than football. Anton Ferdinand addressed the alleged use of racial slur by a competitor during a match against Dallas United. West Ham leaving the pitch in response, with tournament officials determining the match, which Dallas United was leading 2-0, would be called, and no points awarded to either side. Dallas United launching an internal investigation before ultimately withdrawing from the tournament. This is a, a fiercely competitive format, and it does not exist or survive unless we stand in support and provide a safe playing environment for our teams and that is what we will always strive to do. Ferdinand acknowledged the club considered skipping its match Friday but opted to play, crediting tournament officials for their response. Before today's match started, players on both sides taking a knee to protest racism, which has plagued the sport for years. I've got a duty, in, I believe in myself, to make sure that if I'm in these situations, I use my voice in the best way possible. He appreciated the solidarity of competitors, supporters and teammates, saying it's vital to affect meaningful change. When somebody of, of white heritage hears somebody of my heritage speak of it, it's almost like it's a broken record, we've heard it before. But when you hear it from somebody who looks like you, it makes you take note. So I think everybody needs to have, come together and fight as a collective, and if we do that, football can be the, it's hard, but football could be the catalyst for change in society. The tournament organizer has said they have not yet considered whether or not Dallas United would be able to participate in future tournaments. West Ham did win its match in thrilling fashion earlier today, though due to its overall record, will not advance to the next round in part because they were unable to earn points from last night's match. Again, they were losing 2-0 at the time it was called. In carry, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, deeply concerning. Michael Perchik, thank you.